Good things, Delmarva. And we are back. Earlier, we talked about having, um, buying healthy options from the grocery store, and now we're talking more about cooking and eating and those healthy options. The Somerset Wellness Center hosting a workshop to help you figure some of that out. Don Mills, Executive Director of the Somerset Wellness Center, joins me with more. Want to say good morning and good morning. welcome. Thank you. So Somerset Wellness Center, pretty new. Talk to us about the inception, the concept. What is it? Okay, Somerset Wellness Center, our goal is to help people improve their overall wellness and health uh, through a series of uh, different workshops and, and activities within the center. Uh, it's free, it's easy access. Um, we have uh, probably five different programs within the Wellness Center. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a resource center uh, with free educational materials so people can just come in and get the information. Okay. Uh, our big program right now is our uh, evidence-based wellness workshops. We have been trained to teach a variety of workshops in hypertension management, chronic disease, uh, diabetes self-management, uh, stepping on falls prevention, and cancer thriving and surviving. So we do offer those on a rotating basis. Uh, we have a grant from Chop Tank Electric Trust uh, to purchase some fitness equipment. So okay. we're going to get that in soon and we're going to be able to offer that to the community. Uh, in addition, uh, we are also going to be doing the Somerset County Diabetes Prevention Program in another month or so, and we're going to be the only entity in Somerset County that offers that, uh, that program to people who live or work in Somerset County and who have prediabetes. So we're kind of an educational center. We, we offer a little bit of everything mm -hmm. about everything. Um, we started back in, um, actually about two years ago, the people who own the shopping center, um, they, they came to this community, they love the Princess Anne mm -hmm. and Somerset County area, so they wanted to do something good for the community. So they started Somerset Wellness Center, or the inception of that, and uh, we actually, I came on last year, we, we got some of the paperwork up and, and going, and we officially became a 501c3 in October. Nice. So that's when we started really getting some grants in to offer these programs. And so we've been offering some of the wellness workshops uh, for about six or eight months now. Where are you located? We are located in the Princess Anne Village Shopping Center, which is at the intersection of Route 13 and UMES Boulevard. So perfect location mm -hmm. uh, for, for people in Somerset County to get to us. Um, as you know, Somerset County is one of the, the poorest counties in the state of Maryland. Um, and it also has some of the highest rates of, of health issues, diabetes, mm -hmm. obesity, lung disease, breast cancer. So that's why we thought it was important for us to kind of be there. That way we were easier to get to. So if people need that information, they can come to us and, and kind of help their, their conditions. Now, are you finding that people as time goes on are aware that you are located in that shopping center and they are getting the idea of the resources you offer? Yes, they, they are learning that. Again, Somerset County is also a small county. So um, each, each workshop that we offer, we're getting a, okay. a good sized group in there. Uh, I do kind of joke around that, you know, not everybody knows where we're at yet. So uh, whenever I say, oh, we're located next to Caesar's restaurant. And every, they know. Again, pizza place. Right there. Um, and, and a coffee shop near that. Uh, so, yeah, everybody knows where the pizza is in, <laughs> in Somerset County. So, yeah, so that's where we are located. Okay. And so you were saying you recently had done some diabetes workshops. Yes. And so do people, uh, is it for, you said pre-diabetes, or can you, uh, are, the, are you offering information for those with? full onset well, diabetes? Well, we have information for anybody who has diabetes or okay. pre-diabetes can come in and get some information from us. However, the workshop that we just completed is an evidence-based uh, program through Stanford University. Okay. Um, and that really is open up to anyone with diabetes, but it could also be caregivers. It could be somebody okay. who has a family history. Who, wants, who just wanted more information. And they're very interactive workshops. I, I consider them almost like support groups and, and each person in the group kind of helps, they help each other and they encourage each other. And we teach them about action planning and, and how to set goals and how to, how, how to take it one step at a time. So that's what that workshop is focused okay. on. Uh, the one that we're gonna be doing starting in July that is, um, again, it's through a grant from the Somerset County Health Department. 
That's a little more specific. So that's specifically geared for people with prediabetes. So they have to have an A1C within a certain range. Uh, they have to have some other health conditions and they have to have a physician who actually okay. recommends them uh, to the program where they take a self-test to get into that program. Uh, but it is a free program. So, um, and the goal of it is to help them improve their diabetes or the, the prediabetes. Um, and another big component of that program is to lose weight. Um, they try to get most participants to lose between five and seven percent of their body weight. Um, and, they're, and that's what we're finding. A lot of people who do come into the center and come to the workshops, they're looking for um, programs that can help them lose weight and help them eat better. Which, of course, in turn often helps the disease that they are exactly. battling. Exactly. So we are going to take a break, and when we come back, we'll talk a little more specifically about an upcoming um, eating healthy workshop for right. people with hectic lives and get some information on that right. and just what people need to know. So stick around. We have more good things after the break. We'll be right back.